Welcome Poke fans to a brand new playthrough called Pokemon Comet. So I've actually been watching the development of this for a good few months um, and currently there's a demo out which goes just past the second gym but from what I've seen like there's new regional forms called Fallen Pokemon, even new Megas. It just looks too good to not play now. Um, so we're just going to showcase what it's got so far. Um, so let's jump in. Um, options, speed up settings, um, tech speed first, um, what else do we want to do, level caps on, change that to keyboard, and we're good. Right, new game, the Zyro region, a vast area where people and Pokemon live in harmony and unison. From the open waters to the skyscraping mountains to even the rolling hills, the region was at its most peaceful. Professor Coastal, head researcher on Pokemon DNA, was greeted by Professor Elm for a new discovery he had recently uncovered. Oh, that's Professor Elm's in it. Alright, Elm, what was it that you're so eager to tell me? I mean, you even insist on coming all the way out here instead of taking up, talking over the phone. I believe I've discovered something that might be right up your alley. Oh, do tell. Now you have me curious. It actually might be better if I just show you. Setting out three Pokemon. What are all of these? If my understanding is correct, I'm hypothesizing. Hypothesizing. I don't know why I struggled to say that so much. That these are all fallen Pokemon. Wait, are you serious? What makes them even more interesting is that they were all found outside of Zyra. They were found near my lab by the person I mentioned a couple of days ago. Remember the one that wants to be a field researcher for you? Oh wow, Elm, that is indeed quite the discovery. Sure, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Although, I've never heard of fallen Pokemon being found outside of Zyro. I'll have to look into this further. Oh, oh right. I almost forgot to mention, but thank you for taking in another field researcher. They asked to help me out with my own research, but I'm not currently in the need for a new assistant right now. It's all good, Elm. I'm glad you mentioned it to me, since I was looking for an extra pair of hands anyway. Just so the paperwork's easier, could you describe them a little for me? Are they a boy or girl? Um, I think we'll get a boy. Lots of the name, could you please tell me what it is? That will obviously be... Pokey Hex. Okay, a new trainer named Pokex. Got it. How soon could I meet them? Does right now work? You can come on in. Here we are. Jeez, Elm, you want to step ahead of me once again. But Greens Pokex, I hope you'll enjoy your stay. I have a spare room at my place that you can use while you're here. Shoot, look at the time. I probably should be getting back. Thanks a lot, Alan. Alani? Alani? I owe you one. Travelling from Jota to Zyro is quite a different experience, but Pokex was excited nevertheless. Now staying at Professor Coastal's house, it only took Pokex the rest of the day to finish settling in. Even after such a short bit of time, it seems the journey's only just begun. Time to experience the wonderful world of Pokemon. Oh, okay. Um, can we get a potion? Uh, okay, so we get encounters. The options any different now that we're in game? Default movement, running. Where are that, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better. Alright then, let's head on down. Whoa! Is that Mama Gardevoir? Oh no. Yeah, we're living with the professor, aren't we? My bad. Professor Coastal's Gardevoir. Seems to have a letter for you. Good morning, Pokex. Sorry I couldn't be there right now, but I'm excited to have you become a field researcher. Before you leave, I left you some important items with my Gardevoir. That'll be pretty useful for your journey. Whenever you're ready, come meet me in my lab. I have a special gift for you. Gardevoir seems to want to give you something. Receive the poke gear. They're great for feuding the Zyro map. Got XP share straight off the bat. I like that. 
All right then, let's head on out. Ooh. Hey, you're the one that just moved in with the fess, all right. Are you really from Johto? What's log over there? Oh, um, sorry, that's probably too much here. My name's Zoe, what's yours? It's nice to meet you, Perky X. I take it you headed to the Professor Lab, right? She's been constantly talking about you and something else, but I can't remember what. I think it was something about a special group Pokemon, maybe. I don't know, but I've seen, never seen her so excited before. The Professor's Lab is just to the east of here, but you already knew that, right? Oh, right, I actually came to congratulate you on becoming a field researcher. You're even willing to leave Johto, but you don't look scared. Being a field researcher means that you're also a trader, which also means that you get to raise Pokemon of your own. W what? You don't have a Pokemon of your own yet? Well, hurry over to the lab then. Every trader needs a partner Pokemon, and once you get yours, we'll have a battle. See you later. So I'm guessing she's going to be our rival then. Um, let's just go and have a look around. Heard a rumour there you could find a rare Pokemon, but that's just what I know. I think someone mentioned it's not found in tall grass. This art style reminds me a little bit of um, Pokemon Myth. This isn't the fanciest of towns, but I can appreciate the ocean view and quietness that comes with it. I was hoping to move somewhere more luxurious, but this isn't so bad, I guess. I wonder who lives here then. Or is it just those two? It's a great town to kick back and relax. As a lazy guy that I am, I couldn't ask for anything better. <coughs> to be fair, I'm liking the um I'm liking the music. Oh hello, going on a journey, are you? If so you might find this useful. Three iron berries. Those berries here you Pokemon's HP will need it most, so be sure to use them wisely. My favourite show is on the scene so iconic. My son won't stop watching that show. At the very least, I would hope that he doesn't sit so close to the TV all the time. I'm organising my collection of books. They all contain useful data on Pokemon. Alright. So... What have we got? Is this the lab? No. Um, let me just talk to these first before we go in. I'm trying to explain the book types are the best, but he doesn't get it. I was just asking if he wanted to go camping me some time. Yeah, everyone's got one of them friends that just has to keep telling you what they want to tell you. So it can be such a handful sometimes, but I'm glad that Al and I is super patient with her. If you end up becoming good friends with her, keep an eye on her for me. It's always tough watching your kid leave home. I wonder how our parents feel. We've moved from Johto to a completely new region. Right, so the lab's over here. Hello, child. Care spend some time with an old lady like me. Do I have catch Pokemon, you say? Hmm, kids these days. Here we go. Welcome, Pokex. So it's heavy starting so soon, but I'm so glad that you're joining my field research team. It's a fairly new program that I have for new trainers, so there's only one other person right now, but you've probably already met her, huh? So it might be a little ahead of the curve over you, but don't let it deter you away. You'll catch up in no time. To get started, everyone should have a poker with them, even field researchers. I was going to have you pick between one of the normal stars that I give out in Zyro, but after something, can have a better idea. Remember those three rare Pokemon you found back in Johto, the ones currently on my desk? I think it's better if I let you pick between them. As you may have heard, most people here call them fallen Pokemon, and I believe that they came from somewhere far away. We do research on these special Pokemon trying to figure out their exact origins, but we know luck. There have been various sightings of these mysterious Pokemon throughout the recent history of the region. I regret that I myself haven't been able to study most of these sightings, though. It's ultimately my goal to find out the true meaning of the fallen Pokemon, where they originate from. The reason I started the field research program is to help me uncover these mysteries as well as creating a journey for oneself. Since you're the one to find them, it's only fair that you get to pick amongst them. I'll take care of the other two so don't you worry. But anyways, please choose one of the Pokemon placed on the table. I bet they're excited to see the world with you. Alright, so what we got? We've got a fairy type Chikorita. The electric type Cyndaquil. And the ice type Totodile. 
Ooh, you know what? Totodile is my favourite normally. But there's just something about a electric type Cyndaquil. Like, I like the lightning bolt on its back. I think I'm going to go with that. Ah, you've made your pick. Cyndaquil, an excellent choice. Now that you have a Pokemon, I have something very important to give you. Here's a Pokedex. Pokedex is a high-tech encyclopedia that stores data on Pokemon that you catch. It's a device that's well-renowned by many, but it'll only record detailed data if you manage to catch the Pokemon. Speaking of catching Pokemon... Oh yeah, before you go, I had a package delivered to... Alkion Town. Should be there by now. Since you've passed some food, would you be so kind to pick it up for me? I'll let the shop clerk know that you'll be on your way. No, Zoe, you should probably change you to a battle, right? It's okay, I'm in no rush. Battle her and head to Halkion Town next. Um, okay. Pleasure working in a lot nicer than previous employer. Right, let's have a look at Sidney Quill then. Voltaic powers up, yeah, electric types in a pinch. Alright then. We go down here. What well, pleasant surprise to see you, Pokemon. How's your journey going? Unfortunately, I've been told by the Zoro Coast Guard that unless you have a way to surf, no one's swimming the ocean was. Okay, so they've blocked that off for now. Right then, let's go and throw down with you. Alright, it's about time. Let's get this battle started and may the better trainer win. She looks pretty badass. Oh, she's got Charmander. It's a good job I didn't go for Turtle, then. Come on, partner, let's show how it's done. Um, right, we'll go Leah. Hmm. Okay, we'll go for Leah again. What is all this? To be fair, this isn't going to work. Well, I'm going to have to use potion. I can't use my first battle. I just can't. Got 20 Pokeballs. That's a lot. There we go. First battle down. Takes up to level 6, yep. Another Thundershot. Need level 7. Oh man, our first loss. That's crazy, I know we both just started our journeys, but I didn't expect you to be that good at Bally. Don't worry, I won't lose next time. Hey, did you also know? Display an extra battle info, you can view extra details about a battle by pressing the A key. You can also check out data about any move by pressing the S key when trying to select a move. That's pretty cool. Pretty useful, huh? I bet you didn't know that. Oh, right, that these could be helpful too here. Catch. Three potions. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I'd heard that you found some fallen Pokemon back home, right? You can get to travel with one of them. You're so lucky, they're sort of hard to come by in the region. But mostly everyone knows about them. Strange thing that it was found outside of Zyro, though. That sells it. Starting now, you get to be my rival Pokex. Try to keep up with me if you can. Well, I'm off to search for some awesome Pokemon to add to my team. See ya. Alright. Let's head up here then. I don't need to heal, do I? Nah. Right, route one. So, what can we find? Rockety. Well, I can just thunder shot that. And take me up to level 7. Ok, 
Okay, we got grass gym. Oh yeah, I forgot we can check in cows, can't we? So it is literally like Pokemon. If it like it shows you how many in cows, just doesn't show you what they are. Level four, look at it. Time to shut that too. Do I want to add a Rocket D to the team? Oh, I got two potions. So one of the NPCs said something about um, it's a rare Pokemon, but it's not found in tall grass. So I'm guessing there's going to be like a secret hide somewhere. And that does about. There's about half, and it's a. Uh, should be good. Up to level 8. Pichu. Does he not have any attacking moves? Or is it just because. The electric type and notes not very effective. Alright, um that just looks like a shortcut. Oh got a rare candy. So you should check rocks. You just got a Pokemon, this'll be easy. Right, two Pokemon starting off with Rookity. Right, Thunder Show. Up to level nine already. And a Grubbin. I think it's just a bug type of name, isn't it? Just connect. There we go. Halfway to level 10. What's this? Hmm. It looks a bit suspicious, didn't it? Where do we want to go? If I beat you, my boyfriend will take me seriously in battle. Alright, last Jenny. The Fletchling. I think that's an electric type. Not electric, uh, flying type, sorry. Flying normal, anyway, it's a Fletchling. Wove it. Oh my god, we love like Shadow Snake. So we're gonna be Electric Ghost. That's pretty cool. There's only like one other Electric Ghost, and it's Rotom. Oh my god. That looks like a fallen Pokemon. To, in fact, no, we'll come back because I'll, uh, I'll heal up first. I do want to check the encounters. Yeah. What have we got here? Rockety. We are going to need a flying type, but. It's not the end of the world. My girlfriend's battled all that well. She how much stronger I am than her. Got a feeling that we're gonna get KO'd. Yeah. Ah. Level eight. Right, 
definitely potion. Just doing a good chunk of damage there. You got a full restore. Oh, I've got the paralysis, that's so clutch. So, so clutch. Up to level 11. I wonder what the level cap is. Is there any way of... Sometimes it's on the here. No. Okay. Oh no, looks like we're heading in the cave. Alright, let me run back and heal and then we'll go and catch that Pokemon. Alright, then we're back. So, let's see what this is. Oh, it's a person? You know what it is? It's because I'm playing it from so far away. It doesn't look normal. My possession is very, oh, very rare and unique Pokemon that cannot be found anywhere else. Very fun of the research and field work that comes with having a Pokedex. So if you could show me some info, I'll let you have this Pokemon. I need to register Grub into your Pokedex. Ah, oh, I need to catch a Grubbin. Yeah. Okay, that's a unique way of uh, getting a new Pokemon. Um, I don't even know if I've come across a Wild Grubbin. Fletchling. You know what, I'm not... I like Talonflame, but I feel like Leveling up wise, as it when it's like weaker level, its move set and stuff's really poor. Um, but yeah, we just gotta find a grub in there, which is a bit annoying. What you be like the rare encounter here? In fact. Does it even come at night time? I think that's what time it is now. Yeah, it does. Um, just gotta find one. That's a rookedy. Right, I think what I'll do then, I'll fast forward to when I've caught one, because it seems to be, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, it seems like it's gonna take forever. Alright, tackle. Please do not crit. Please do not crit. Please. There we go. I'm definitely not going to keep this grub in there. It's, uh, it's really not a good Pokemon. Plus, Vikavolt's really slow. And obviously we've already got an Electric type and Cyndaquil, so... Just literally catching it for the research. Right, now you can give it to me. Um, let's see if you do... Ah, uh, yes, here it is. You have Grubbin's entry. Yes. Man, this guy sucks, man. Honestly. I thought that would be it. I didn't realise it would be a series of things. Alright, I might catch Rookedy. Um, it's been a while since I've used one. And I feel like flying could be useful. Should catch it fairly easily. Right, there we go. I wonder if you can even find Starly around here. Anyway, we'll, we'll just carry on. Ancient cave. That looks like Stardust to me. Oh my god, Mischievous. Not very often you see that so early on.
Absolutely tanked that shadow sneak. To be fair, we are modest, so it's also weaker from that. And you trust the old Zubat, which you always seem to find in every single cave. Aha, uh -huh, my team will bury yours. Oh, I hope he hasn't got ground types. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, this sucks. Especially if he knows a ground move. We get poison turn one. We might actually struggle to get past this entry. looking like it it's gonna outspeed a grubbin oh maybe not but I don't quite think Rocky D is gonna do enough damage No, he didn't have to take that out. He's got to take out probably a ground top. Uh, rock top's coming out now. Drillba. Yeah, ne never stood a chance. All right, we'll be uh, we'll be back to do it again. All right, we're back for our revenge. So. Let's try this again now, fully healed. Right, so I'm gonna hit you a couple of layers. Please don't poison me. No, oh, sand attack. Come on. And then it's got defense curl as well. I think we still need another two hits. I'd have rather it go for someone else there. Got through with no poison though, so I'll take that. Drill bear. Um, plan is to go rookedy. Let's go Peck. Rapid spin makes it faster. It's doing a good chunk of damage as well. Probably only take one, one more of them. Yeah, definitely only one more. Yeah, we got a crit. I'll take that. Up to level 9. Seems we were the ones that got buried. Damn right. Alright, what can we find? Ah, drill bear. You know what? I do like drill bear, but it's the whole doesn't have all till really late thing that puts me off. Mm, screw it, we'll catch you anyway. It's drill's pretty pretty good when you do finally get it. If I was doing it in arms, I'd just call it clay because that's what I remember it from. Good old black and white. Well, it looks like there's a potion here. Two potions, in fact. Okay, the only thing about early on is you can't get no repels. So it could become quite annoying going through this cave. 
because it's so easy we'll take you out. I just knew I was going to one shot you. Definitely got, I was going to say, I was definitely got with something in that. Two revives though, that is pretty, pretty good. So you get a lot of, um, a lot of free items and good items early on. So we got rare candy out of one, two revives, so it pays to press them rocks. I'm thinking, should I catch a mischievous? It can be pretty decent early on. It's probably going to be a nightmare to catch though. It's not like we haven't got enough Pokeballs. Though. Yep, I knew it. Come on. Just stay in the Pokeball. Ah, oh, that was so baity. I can't believe she's just done that to me. Right, I'm, I'm just going to cut to when we've caught it, I think, because... Actually, no, I should be able to get another Shadow Sneak now, because we... Minus two attack. And now, if we don't catch it now, then there's something seriously wrong. God, why does it keep doing that to me? Come on, what do I wasted four Pokeballs? Oh my God, it's not having it. Why is this thing so hard to catch? It's gonna actually end up taking me out. I wouldn't mind if it was something really good. But it is literally just a mischievous. I'm going to try one more Pokeball. If that doesn't work, then I officially give up on it. Like, there's nothing else I can do, really. I can't status it because I don't have no status moves. Oh my god, finally. Such an annoying Pokemon to catch. For some reason, they always make mischievous hard to catch. Especially if it's early on. Right, um should have a few potions. Yeah, six. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that, that thing can stay away from me. Looks like an exit. I thought it was just going to lead to an item. Ooh, Sandshrew. I do like Sand Slash. Hits hard. Good defensive bulk. Pretty solid ground type. In fact, I am actually going to potion up Mischievous. As if this guy's got ground types. Do you also study ancient markings? Two Pokemon, Riolu. Oh, okay. I don't mind that. I can, I can get my Thunder Shocks off. Well, you can probably find Riolu in here actually, for some reason. Mischievous. It's going to be quite hard to take out actually. 
pretty sure it's especially bulky. Yeah, that's literally doing nothing. I'm going to say that you're not really doing much to me either. Well, you weren't until you got that special defense draw. I mean, if I could just get a confusion. I mean, the whole time you had a stunish, so why was you going for acid? Doesn't make any sense. Um, we're getting a bit too close to comfort, I think. I'll go back to Cyndaquil and then we can go for some Shadow Sneaks. Just about stays alive. If you'd have had a potion there, I would have probably Rage Quit among a lot. After the mischievous riling me up earlier. To then that grind. Yeah, that it'd have been too much too earlier. Right, what have we got? X attack. Hmm. Right, another mischievous. That's what I was gonna check actually. Does Riolu appear here? No. There is one Pokemon, but that's probably going to be the rare encounter, isn't it? Right, so we can head to the exit now. And then hopefully that should be the next town. The one where the professor was on about. Although it's pretty far to grab his parcel and come all the way back, isn't it? And trek back through this cave. I thought it'd be just like one small route and that'd be it. Right, you know the drill zoo, but get shocked. Everyone leveling up. Trying to spot it. Right, two Pokemon, Geodude. Ah, that Geo dude. See how much Shadow Sneak does. Not much at all. If any of you had a ground move. Oh, you do? Okay. Just keeps going for charge. Though that's boosting your special defense, that's not good. Oh my god, though, look how much damage that does. I knew, I knew there was a reason why I caught Drillber. Um, Rock Rough. Let's go Mud Slap. I'm actually surprised how much damage that actually does. I got a feeling you can't hit me though from Mistress. Right, let's go confusion. Although you could have buy actually. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Right, get me out of here. Is that a shortcut? I just want to read that sign, see if it tells you anything, or if it just says the name of the cave again. Yeah, ancient cave. Would you like me to heal you, Pokemon? Absolutely. But well, that means that we're not white at the end yet I'm not gonna lie this is a long early route or 
that route like <clears throat> look journey to the first town be free my pokemon so for got at least the bird keeper i can just thunder shock everything Hopefully he has a starly so I can see where you catch it. Right, Thunder Shock you. Yep, there we go, perfect. Because then I think I need to get to level 14 to get a star avia. I mean, they might be on this route. Yeah. I do like me a Starly. Bell Sprout as well. So there is quite a big variety in Pokemon you can get early on. Share that rock as well. Looks a bit suspiciously placed. A reap. Yeah, an Everstone. Well, so there is the end there, but I just want to make sure we don't miss nothing. So we had, no, oh, it's literally just a trainer. Right, youngster Tucker has a Zigzagoon. The Hoenn type though, not the Galar. Galar's definitely better. Also the Galar version can come an Obstagoon. Oh my god, one sand attack and I'm, I'm, I miss attacks. Right, that takes up to level 14. Bell Sprout. Let's go Rookie D. Right, Pech. I don't think it one shots so a. No. Also, why does Rookie D look so big? Or have I just not noticed that before? Slow and Fury attack. Oh, it's evolving already. Ah, I forgot. Yeah, it evolves at 14, then it's Syndicate. Let's see what, what this looks like. Hmm. I mean, it looks like it could still be Fire type. Has it picked up a new type? Yeah, Ghost. Electric Ghost is pretty cool. I mean, I'll, I'll take that. Oh, I didn't even see you down there. Make my Pokemon the prettiest and the strongest. Last Amy with the routes. Right, we can uh, put our Ghost type to work. Shadow Sneak. Vulpix. I suppose we could go drill bear. Go for some mud slaps. As long as it's normal, Vulpix and not low limb, which it is. You know, screw it. Oh, it's got eye shard. Okay, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. Didn't expect it to have that. Go for some electro shocks. Can't believe it gets priority eye shard. There we go. Right, that looks like it's it. That's it. It's done. Halkion Town. 
grab the little potion that was hiding behind the tree. Right, so now we've got a lot for a Pokemon Center, which is here. And I think that's the perfect place. Oh. Hey, this is your first time Pokemon Center. The ones here are a little different. Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. As I was saying before, I got really interrupted. Um, I think this is the perfect place to end the video. So, next video, we'll explore Halkion Town, get the professor's parcel, take it back to him. In the meantime, I'm probably going to catch a Starly on the previous route. So I can um, also speak to that person on the way back. And um, see if we get the Pokemon then or if we got to do another task for him. If we have to do another task, I'm actually going to kick him in the nuts. But you know, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you all next time.